Hello! Um, I think I'm online now. The usual preamble while I'm waiting for my open uh, feed of the stream to catch up so I can confirm that fact. But hi everybody! Um, chat is well underway already before I've even started tonight. That's great, everyone's in early. But I notice um, one of you, Hicklable, has left a couple of uh, suggestions for me to download before we start today. So, she wanted me to add a family called the Sherwood family to the town, which I will do now. Uh, Mrs. Sherwood here can, what's her name? Oh, I can't check now. I should have checked before. She can She can move into this nice house. It's a good house. Um, oh, I have free real estate on. I was moving in some families I had made myself. Hello, Bram Henry. Hello, Dave's Girl. Hello, Midnight. And hello, the unabridged sloth in chat. Um, yeah, I was moving in some families I'd made myself for a different save file that I never really played much in. So um, that's why free real estate is on. I'm not some big cheaty uh, cheat master. Uh, she also suggested that I add Mr. Bean to the neighborhood, which is an interesting idea, and said that I can, if I Google him, there's like a million of them online. So let me see if I can do that. Oh, that wouldn't be EA account ID. That would be Mr. Oh, okay. So there is. Well, I like this one. So, yeah, let's add Mr. Bean to the town. Why not mix things up? Um... Oh, you know where he can go? He can go in an apartment, I think, in San Myshuno. I don't think Mr. Bean can afford a house. Um, I'll put him into this one. There you go, Beanie. Okay, um, Midnight also has someone to add. Okie doke. Uh, I'll have a look for that. That's good. I'm really populating the town tonight between my own people and you guys people. Hello Lou. Hello Flora. Hello again uh, Dave's girl. And hello again Hicklable. Um, right. So. Midnight. Oh. Am I spelling this right? M-H-Y-D-K. Ah there we go. And the McEvil family. Okie doke. Well, they do look kind of evil. Um, Moriarty and Bella. Okay. And their brother and sister. Ooh, that's interesting. Well, let's, let's place these. Moriarty McEvil is a stunningly handsome devil, I have to say. I'm, I'm, I'd consider marrying him in if we weren't already sold to um, marrying Hester to death. Well, we move them into this place with a romantic fireplace. It's a little weird given that they're brother and sister, but I will do it. And... For some reason, I can't give them furniture with it. Darby says I should add Michael Jackson. Blue Pigeon suggests, can Hester have a child with Mr. Bean? <laughs> maybe. Maybe we'll try to have a child with his descendants if he has any. But, um, okay, Darby's asked for Michael Jackson, so why not? While, while we're repopulating the town tonight... Do we want young Michael Jackson or, like, late Michael Jackson? Oh, they, they all seem to be late Michael Jackson. There's no, like, Jackson 5 era version. I think this is my favourite one I can see. This one by AdCook03. So, I don't know. They probably aren't watching this. They probably never will. But let's add him. We'll play some... Um, he's the mysterious new celebrity in town. Oh, I saw an empty house who has moved into uh, this house. He's moved in next door, because that's our house, of course. So everybody, look out. Michael Jackson is back, and uh, he's living in Brindleton Bay. I also noticed something weird before I start. I was browsing around the houses looking for free ones, and I noticed that... Um, over here. Oh, hello, Akramarka. Um, yeah, over here. Somehow, Vlad is back from the dead and is married to Brianna. I, I don't know how, but... I, I, maybe it's a glitch. Maybe his ghost married someone, but somehow he's back. I swear, I didn't move him in or anything. He's literally back from the dead. 
So, maybe we'll see him around again. We saw him burn, though, so... I don't know, maybe... Blue Pigeon says vampires never truly die. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Maybe he's got a sort of Voldemort thing going on. Maybe we have to find his Horcruxes somewhere before we can get rid of him. I wonder, does he still remember me? Is he still in the league? Lou asks, is the grave still there? I'm going to have to check that. Yeah, Vlad's grade is still here. He's the best babysitter in town. But... I don't know. That, that's unusual. Well, anyway, we're back at the house. For those of you who missed last time, Spice is gone. This is Eleanor, our new wife. who um, She's the alien that's been abducting um, Monty all these times. We tracked her down, we married her, and added her to the family. So uh, she is the new matriarch of this legacy challenge. Um, let's see, her portrait has been added to the wall. Um, Spice's has been relegated down to the basement. So... We're, we'll start living and see where we go. And look, speaking of Back from the Dead, this is the Back from the Dead special. Um, Acromarca says Vlad is the tutorial guy, so maybe he just respawned. That could be it. If he's the vampire tutorial character, maybe it just moves him back in if he dies. I don't really know. Um, so we have a few things to do today. We have to hopefully get Hester to be an adult so that she can marry Death. And um, Monty is, I believe, on the cusp of elderhood. So maybe he's going to retire quite soon. Um, we have a lot of money as well. So we'll have to spend that somehow. There's the lab. I think we could expand the lab at some stage as well. Um, oh, Monty, fixing the sink. That's good. He's doing it by himself as well. That is... I didn't think they could do that. Oh, I also forgot to tell you guys at the start, I added a new mod to this, MC Woohoo, which means that The Sims now get a Woohoo skill, which, oh, well, no one has yet, but basically, the more they Woohoo, the more their skill will increase, and the more their relationships will build when they Woohoo with other Sims. I thought that could be a fun element to work in. Hello, Sam to the Jane. Been a while since you've been in chat. I think your Sim is married with kids now, so, um... That's an update. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Oh, look. Why are you embarrassed? Privacy invaded. Who, who's invading your privacy, Hester? We'll, we'll get revenge on them. Uh, what? How's Hester doing? She wants to be disliked by four sims, become an adult, and become a criminal. Well, we can park that for now. Um, Monty, I don't think that toilet is fixed. Oh, sorry, Hester. I'm, I didn't mean you. Monty... That toilet is n is not yet fixed. He can't get to it. Is that because Hester is in the way? Monty? No? Can you fix this one? Oh, it's because um, Eleanor is vomiting in it. Because I, I also forgot to mention that um, Eleanor or... Pol oh, all the plumbing's broken. Okay. Um, Eleanor, or politician, pollination technician, not politician technician, as she was once known, is also pregnant. So um, there may be another baby in the house. Hello, Crimson Bode. Welcome to chat. Okay. Well, okay, we have to fix all these broken toilets. This is weird. Maybe this is some consequence of Vlad returning, like... He burst forth from his grave and all of the um, vibrations caused the plumbing to break. Did the upstairs ones break? No, that seems fine. I'd say it's just Mangarel running riot down here or something. Isn't the pup also prego? Yes! Um, I think she might be. That's uh, Pixen, our dog. Um, you know what we're going to do, actually? Just in case she's not, we're going to get her to mate with Jacques one more time. Oh, and clean up these dishes. Of course, we don't have the Spice Girls anymore because Spice isn't here, so we have to do our own cleaning. Look at that. Those are two dogs in love. Well, a dog and a fox in love. A goat and a fox in love, really. 
Gold bar? Someone spotted. Oh my god. Thank you, Midnight. Well spotted. Um, how much is this worth? Six grand. Oh my god. We are swimming in money. Oh, I love that golden poo. Um, oh, the computer as well. Monty. I'm sorry. But we really do need all the repairs done around here. Um, although that computer was mostly for Spice to practice on and uh, well I she's gone. It. Eleanor is currently scavenging it for parts. It's her alien curiosity I guess. Um, should we get her a job? I think she's kind of old. She's going to be an elder in two days but we might as well stick her in a career for those two days. Oh and she'll be on maternity leave like immediately. Oh, hello, Unnecessary Gamer. Welcome to chat. Uh, Darby asks, what computer do I have? Tell me your secret. Well, it's a thing. It's a desktop thingy. I built it myself back in about 2007 and have just been switching parts out every few years. So there's nothing left of the original except the hard drive at this stage. But um, that's pretty much it. I've got, I think I've got something like... I think I've got 8 gigs of RAM and an 8 gig graphics card or something along those lines. I can't really remember. Um, what job can we get her that will pay today and tomorrow? It's Thursday. Let's um, make her a tech guru. She can step right into Spice's old job. Just uh, take over where she left off. School for Hester starts in an hour. Okay, um, she's a little tired. Has she done her home? She has just started her homework. Okay, do your homework, Hester. Look, you're only a B student. I want you to be an A student. What? What's she doing? Come on, it's a, twenty-five percent done is not done. Oh, she's standing up doing it. Okay, just to be different. That's fine. And look. And you're sitting down to sleep. Why is no one doing things the right way anymore? This has gone crazy. Uh, can you paint? No, she's very tense from st being startled by a ghost and having too many chores. I think Mangarold has been up to mischief. That's all I can conclude from this. Um, where is Eleven's bedroom? Did I have her sleeping in here? Oh, and then I gave that room to Spice, and now, okay. Now it all makes sense. She didn't have somewhere to sleep. Um, Hester, are you off to school? Monty is off to work. Oh, Monty, get away from those graves. You'll get cursed or something. You know what happens to cursed people in this house? Dave's girl asks, am I going to give Eleven a job? It would be extra money if I put her in the art career. Possibly. Um, but, to be honest, I'd rather keep her around the house just so, you know, to look after things while everyone else is at work. So she can earn money doing paintings, which I think, you know, is kind of good enough in itself. And um, she can do our legacy portraits. And she can possibly send him in alone she can possibly uh, train up the next generation of painter as well because I think maybe we could do that each generation we can nominate one child as the heir and the other one as like the painter and we sent the painter to 11 and um, like she will look after them and teach them to paint and sort of raise them herself God, no one's doing these dishes I'll do them myself is that Oh, more gold. Oh my god, Pixen. Oh, we're out of pet food. I don't know how they're pooing anything, to be honest, because we're not feeding them. But she... Yeah, she filled everything. She stepped in the golden poo. Come on, Eleven, that, you're stepping in our money. We need that. Can't find object. Oh, no. 
I think they're disappearing because she uh, stepped in them. I think I saw another one in here. Great. Yeah, crap. Okay, oh, it's okay. There's another one. This dog has, like, the runs or something. I don't know. Golden runs, though. Blue Pigeon asks, why isn't Eleven's... Why don't I give Eleven a bed in the art room? I could, but it would just be uncomfortable if anyone wanted to use the treadmill. I think it j could just, um... It could, it, it would just be awkward. There's another gold poo. This is good. If we can get a gold bar, another gold bar out of all of these, we will be doing very well. We've got over 10 grand saved up from these, like, from these golden treasures. Oh, this annoys me. I'm gonna have to redo that path in a bit. Polly is wondering if I want to go over to her house and hang out. Yeah, okay. I think we'll go visit Polly. Go check up on her and see what she's doing. Move the treadmill into Eleven's old room and make it a gym there. Oh, well, I could do that. but that, Her old room would be a very depressing gym. I can't have people working out in there. There's damp, there's vermin. I'm pretty sure the place is diseased. It's just... It's not suitable for a gym. Oh, we can meet Dandre, of course. Our uh, cousin Dandre, who uh, lives over here. I think I saw in the neighborhood view that she has another baby. I get more poo if I put more money. Sorry, I get more money if I put the poo in the trash. Look, it's Dandre. It's your nephew, Dandre Ninja. Let's, let's introduce ourselves. And who's this? Sweetie Goth. Oh, our old dog. Of course. Sweetie, how are you? It's been a while. This, how's the new master treating you? This is nice. Okay, so... Good old Romak is in here, doing his thing. Um, let's check the family tree. Yeah, I think she, I saw she had another child, but I'm not sure. No, I'm, I am mistaken. Does he have another child? No. Okay. I was seeing things or misremembering. This is an in this is the house where Spice used to live. Everyone lives in this house. Oh wow, look at this. That's a bit dangerous. Why is the toddler sparkly? Some kind of vampire I expect. Santa Jane points out Eleven's room needs to be the nursery when the new baby comes. That's true. That's the nursery where we condition the babies to be a goth. So I think we're going to have to build Eleven a new bedroom with our massive amounts of money. Um, oh, apparently the sparkles are imagination. It's interesting. Dandre is a charmer. Well, he's very charming talking about socks, I guess. Uh, you. Build up. Oh, the only skill she can build is mischief. Socialize with um, Hester. She needs to get to know her mother. Who's this? Elsa Bjergsen. Hello. Do I know you? Actually, where is Polly in all of this? She invited me over and has not come out to say hello. I don't even think she's in here. And look, this place is like on an island. This wasn't easy to get here. I had to like ride a ferry over. Or walk across this like sandbar here or something. And she's not even here to greet me, so that's that's kind of very rude. Let, let's teach him to talk while we're here. See, see if we can uh, get Dandre off to a good start. Like, we're not doing much with him now, but Maybe once they get his descendants are more uh, separated from our own line, we can marry them back in. Remerge the family tree, as I'm so fond of doing. Arlet says she just wanted me to babysit while she went out with the Spice Girls. I think so. Akramarko wants me to kidnap him. 
I... I wonder can I? Let's pick him up anyway and see... Yeah, okay. He's, he's got enough learning from you. Let's pick him up and let's uh, travel and see is he available to take with us. Unfortunately not, but okay, we'll, we'll go home anyway. Maybe if we... No, if she put him down. I don't know. I'll, I'll invite um, Dandre over once he's old enough to visit. And, you know, he, he can hang out with us. He can be our friend. As, um, yeah, as Blue Pigeon says, we can, like, use him for social building. And Dave's Girl says we can use him to build Eleven's parenting skills. Make her a good babysitter for all of the heirs. Which is, you know, which would be handy. Eleven is going to die one day, though, so we also have to train up her replacement soon. Well, not soon. Next generation. We need to father an apprentice for her. Her own sort of Darth Maul-type sidekick. Okay, Hester's home. She got a B again. Did she do okay, though? She did. Okay, she's almost excellent. I think tomorrow she's going to get her A. Um, if we can manage that. But for now... Oh no, Hester, you were so close. Wake up. On the bridge, Thought says, keep her alive with Ambrosia. I could. Um, oh, I also, I forgot something about the legacy challenge. Um, and I'm going to extend the graveyard for this. Don't worry, it's nothing too morbid. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Why would that be what I wanted to do? Okay. Apparently, there is a uh, wishing well. Whispering wishing well. That I can put down and every sim in the challenge can have one wish at the well in their lifetime so I don't know we can wish for things what's a good color scheme I think I like this one or no maybe not um, this is a good way to spend a bit of our money I like the sort of overgrown looks um, Overgrown green, or I think overgrown blue. Yeah, this ca this is a spooky wishing well now in our cemetery. And you throw money in, and it increases your chance of making a good wish. And then you wish, and you get stuff back. Wish for romance for 11. Okay, yeah, that's, that's an interesting idea. Um, how much money are we going to, are we prepared to spend on getting some romance for 11, though? I'm not going to spend much. I'm going to put in an offering. We're going to put in a hundred, which won't give us a great chance, but... Oh, she can't get to it. Why not? Is this locked? Oh, the cemetery was locked. Or a child. Oh, well, oh, we could get her apprentice that way if we wished for a child from the well. Yeah. Actually, Darby, you're onto something with that. What we'll do is we'll wait until Eleven is a little bit... Maybe we'll wait until Eleven is a little bit older and then she can go and wish for a child and get her, like, a little... Um, our own little sidekick. Midnight says, I locked it for the grieving thing. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Well, let's throw in a hundred simoleons anyway. See how that affects the well. <laughs> Oh, the offering has been found wanting. The well is displeased. Okay. It's not cumulative then. I assumed, you know, we could add in a hundred here, a hundred there. I don't know. Well, we'll figure it out. She can get back to painting. Maybe I should have thrown in a thousand. We need to build her a bedroom as well. Um, in time for the new children to arrive. I think we can give her like a room up here. I, ha 
had an idea here. Um, I think this window will have to go, though. Okay. Well, for now, anyway, what I'll do is... Oh, I need a pillar to support this. Um, something like that should do. And then... There we go. So we get a bit of a room up above here. And in here, this can be um, this can be Eleven's new room. And I'm oh crap! It got rid of her sister's windows. Um, that's not good. We'll just move it over. I think it should be in. Nope. Oh. What kind of window did she have? I think it might have been one of these. Yeah. That looks okay. And if we did another one here. Oh yeah, actually. That's alright. It sort of brightens up the um, upper level here. It looks a little bit weird and random, but it, it's fine. It'll do. That's like the motto of this uh, playthrough. Right, and we've got this weird triangly bit here. And I'm either going... I don't know, I'm go probably going to have to either extend this room or have this one a really weird shape. Or maybe I could put something else in there altogether. If I just closed it off, I could stick in a cupboard or something. I don't know. Um, I'll just leave it as it is for now. I'll put this room over here. I will demolish this wall and yes join all of this up like so Darby says I could, should get 11 pregnant by Michael Jackson well <laughs> that would be a change in her fortunes all right Picklable says I should keep the room a weird shape. Okay. Um, yeah, I can probably get a w do that. Um, let's see. What what way do we want to decorate it? This is Eleven's room. Um, I think just she'd like a bit of a wooden floor. We need windows. I'm not going to be so cruel as to not give her windows. She won't get as nice windows as her sister got. But... Um, Oh, that, that is a pretty nice window, though. No, it's too nice. I think we should give her... Maybe one of these over here. Yeah, that fits quite well, actually. And her walls... will make it look a little bit like her beloved painting studio, but not completely, because that's, you know, quite an expensive room. Like that. That's roughly this, a similar colour scheme. And we'll give her a light upstairs um or sorry up in the ceiling one of these I think we put it there and then we can move her bed up from down here actually you know what we've got some money and I don't dislike 11 she's fine so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna get her a nice bed Let's see. One of these, maybe. Um, is there a different colour? A nicer colour? Maybe one of these. It's a little cheaper, but it might fit better with the room. Yeah, I kind of like that one. Um... See. Oh, hello. Welcome to chat, Renegade Mink. Good to see new people in here. Um, we're on generation... 
one almost into two at the moment. So you've, you've caught us early enough. We've been on generation one for a very long time though, because we've just been doing a lot of stuff. And we went with like the youngest child possible to be the heir. So, you know, it's a patient legacy challenge. It's going to take a while, but we'll, we will get there in the end. Let's throw a mat in here. There we go. Okay, that's Eleven's new room. Um, oh, I forgot. I need lighting along uh, this end of the corridor. Yeah, there we go. I think that was a wise use of our money. So she can go up and sleep now. We'll, we'll have to give her curtains as well. I'll do that later. Um, I'm not in the mood for picking out curtain fabric. We have more pressing things to do. Eleven should have some sort of hidden shrine in that triangle, says Midnight. Oh, that could work. Oh, I forgot about uh, the shrine over here, by the way. Um, Hester's shrine. Oh! Oh! Oh, 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 forget the triangle. Forget the weird triangle. The shrine is going into the triangle. I think... Yes! I just need the brickwork from outside because this room, this is a secret room nobody knows about in here. Um, so I need some crappy wooden floorboards for it. Like those ones. No, not those ones. They're too crappy. That's fine. And um, a door. Just a sort of subtle door we can... Well, no, that one, well, that one's made of glass. It's specifically not subtle. But if we could put a door in here... Um, where no one would think to look. Oh, I don't think there's enough room. Hang on. If we move that and... Oh, look, this one has chalk on it. I kind of like that. The idea that Hester drew on the door. Like, oh. There's only chalk on one colour of it. So, no, maybe not. Uh, we need to make it look like it's some sort of like wardrobe or something. I could get this bookshelf one if we were higher, if we had someone in the writing career. Um, okay. Now, what I'm going to do is, I want to turn move objects on and I'm going to actually put the wardrobe in front of the door and we can move it if we need to you know, get into there. Oops, move objects off. Um, and then we can move all the shrine stuff into here. All the pictures of um, Frankie, I think his name was. So it can be like, you know, in Hey Arnold, when uh, Helga has her little Arnold shrine in the back of her wardrobe and it's kind of hidden away. We're, we'll do, it's something like that. And then, uh, yeah. The little table. Okay, we can't fit the little table in. Well, the little table can stay out here. We can leave the table there and we'll just move the candles in. There we go. And no one can ever get inside. So, yeah, what we're expecting... A new baby now from uh, our new mother and we are oh she's squeamish okay from slimy icky things Jacques is hungry Jacques there's food down here you silly goat um yeah we're also expecting a baby from the dog Hester I think the dog wants a walk um 
Here, take her on a short walk. Hester. Hester, wake up. Wake up. She's dead. Oh, no. Oh, no. She woke up. Um, she's in a bad mood as well. Oh, walking the dog should cheer her up, though. I think that's fun for them. It's fun for me. I, I think walking dogs is fun. I don't have one anymore, but, you know, when I had a dog, it was fun to walk them. There you go. That'll improve. Yeah, it works. It's improving her mood. Monty's back and he's brought money and he's very tired. Okay, no, that's not your bed. Sorry. I automatically go to that bedroom now because it's like the nicest one. Bagel Headbutt says, my childhood is very American influenced to know Hey Arnold. Well, I guess so, but I mean, like... I got Nickelodeon when I was younger, so um, we got a, we pretty much got all the American shows. Um, before that, before Nickelodeon, we had TCC, which uh, was the children's channel, which I don't know. It was like a really crappy kids channel that finished at five o'clock, and um, oh, what was on it? It used to show reruns of sixties Batman like seven times a day. Which was good at first, but there's only so many episodes of that, and it gets really old very fast. It was all 60s Batman and Dennis the Menace. That's all they ever showed. And when I was very young, they showed Bill Cosby's picture pages, which um, I don't think would get made today. It was a thing where Bill Cosby told stories, and I think he had an easel or something. I'm not sure. Is Pixon pregnant now? Um, let's see. Maybe we can notice. She looks a little chubby, I think. But I don't know. We, well, we've tried getting her to mate twice. And I think, you know, if she isn't now, then she's not trying. Um, oh, we left the room all romantic. We don't want too much of that. I think we can clear some of that off. Uh, we have enough money to make a decent wish at the wishing well if we wanted. Like, if we made an offering of a thousand. I don't know, should should Eleanor be our guinea pig for um for this wishing well? Reverie June says that um Pixon is pregnant. Oh that's good. I, I can't notice from the model. Also, welcome to the stream. I don't think I said hello to you yet. Um, I think we have all the regulars here tonight. It's nice. Um, all right. Why don't we get her to present an offering of a thousand anyway? Come on, Eleanor. Time for you to do something for the family. I'm going to present an offering. It's satisfied and more amenable to amenable to granting wishes and okay what is Eleanor's wish going to be we can wish for happiness simoleons skills useful vigor a child or a promotion I think maybe we should wish for simoleons first because then we can use those to fund more wishes I don't know what do you guys think wish for wealth says Darby Okay, you were first, so... Yeah, Reverie June, skills and money, can both wealth, simoleons. Everyone's pretty much on board with simoleons. Look, she's very sad. Oh, from her divorce. I forgot. But she's newly married as well, so... Should be fine. There we go. Oh, this looks promising. Lots of money coming out. Okay, she won the lottery. Hang on, what was that noise? Oh, Monty! But, uh, Eleanor's here, Who, who's taking him now? Oh no. Oh. Okay, so we wished for the money, we got a pile of money 
Um, Dave's girl says she doesn't think Eleanor's pregnant with our baby. She thinks she was pregnant when we first met her. Oh, well, if she is, then, you know, her child can be our new um, paint slave, I guess. Speaking of which, Eleven, you are not painting. I'm a patient man and ooh, golden poo. And also, where is Hester gone? She went out to walk the dog like five hours ago. Okay, I think it's been walked enough. You can come home. You've had enough fun. Come home and have your dinner. Oh crap, we're out of food. Um, come home and have a ham and cheese sandwich. Crimson Boat says Eleanor will have to go back to her planet and have a word with someone. I think so. Because I don't know. This this just isn't on. Poor Monty. Apparently the chances of pregnancy from alien abduction is something like 30%? Like it's not huge. It, we just got really lucky or unlucky the first few times. Ooh, painting's ready. Monty you're back. Look, he's focused. He's enjoying it now. He's not getting scared. He's like visiting old friends. If he does have a child from this one, who will it be with? Will it still be with Eleanor? Or will it be with someone else, I wonder? Because we've kind of probably bugged the game by adding her to the family, but I couldn't resist. Frankie hears there's a party going on right now. Sorry, Frankie. We have homework to do. Hester has homework and a science electricity experiment to do. What should we do? Um, where is her homework? Oh, she's left it down somewhere again. Um, oh, probably in here. Is it on the bookshelf? No. I think we can purchase homework on the bookshelf anyway. Um, where is it? Show all children's fantasy romance. Skill, I think. Maybe. No. Um, children's. Ah, there we go. One homework, please. She, like, I don't know. Her books got eaten by a dog on the way home. How close is Monty to being an elder, Bram Henry asks. I think he's three days away. Two days now. So, hopefully tonight we'll see him. We'll actually have his birthday. That'll be interesting. Um... See what kind of an old man he'll be. Oh yeah, see, it's almost his birthday. Time for an autosave to occur. Oh right. Um, yeah, I was messing with my MC Command Center settings, so I think it prompts me for autosaves now. I'll have to turn that off. Um, here, I think. Settings, autosave. Use autosave. We don't want a confirmation dialogue. There we go. Are you going to do your homework? There you go. And I'll do the dishes. No, no one worry. There we go. Nice and clean. Monty, I don't know, he needs to pee. I always see that as a sign of them being pregnant, even though I understand that people pee who are not pregnant. But, you know, people who are pregnant pee more, I think. Um, Hester, how's that homework going? You gonna get it done? Gonna make me proud? I think she is. Oh, the goat wants a walk now. Um, 
Oof, we can't walk the goat. She's too tired. Um, she needs to go to bed. Someone else can. Who's up? Look, you're not doing much. Where is he? Ah! Well, he's gone. Uh, Hester needs to... Actually, she should shower and then sleep. Oh, there's a lot of people to keep an eye on here. Uh, Dave's girl says, if the ba next baby's a girl, please call it Kimberlina. Or is that the dog? Well, we'll see. Uh, <laughs> Darby says, if it's a boy, call it Darius. Or if it's a girl, Catalina or Elena. They're all good names. I like Kimberlina. Um, Darius is pretty good as well. I guess we'll see. If anyone else has... Uh, oh, Eleanor's baby. Okay. I, I forgot about Eleanor's baby. Oh. I don't know who's going to look after that because... I don't know. I, I don't think I'll have the energy to help. Oh, crap. It's nearly school time already. And she's only just going to bed. This is what happens when you walk the dog for 12 hours. Oh, come on. 11. How can you resist this? Puppy wants to play. Okay, so you, you can resist it. Well, it's fine. Um, we need someone to make breakfast. Fruit salad. That won't go on fire. And Let's see. Monty can... Oh, he's so old. He has work today, right? Um... Monty could just enjoy himself, I think, until work. Maybe he can go take a nap. No one uses this TV anymore. I think it's because I hid it away too cleverly. And nobody knows where it is. So, I don't know. This annoys me. This wall thing here. Um, I'll have to come up with a way to fix that. It might mean... Oh no, I can't even put a doorway here because of the stairs. Ah! I've built myself into a corner. Who's crying? What's wrong? Oh, the divorce again. Of course, she's thinking about her daughter. Her daughter, Polly. Who I don't think she's ever talked to, actually. Um, why don't Why don't you uh, have a chat with her? See how she is. Just catch up. Oh, there we go. Fruit salad for everyone. Cool. Oh, look. The well is still smiling, actually. Maybe someone else can get a good wish in. Um, we already got a money wish in. Anyone have any more wish suggestions? Um, we could... I'm not sure if we need them yet, but... Oh, we could get uh, Hester some skills. Oh, crap, she's late for school. And she needs to pee. And she's going through a phase. Good morning, everybody. Um... Okay, yeah. School. Get to school. Oh, she really doesn't like school. Jacques is hungry. Hester's at school. We're good. Okay, more wealth, romance, skills. Yeah, we haven't used Monty's wish yet. So maybe Monty should wish for more wealth? He can't... Oh. Yeah, let's send him to work alone, actually. We can't make his wish yet, anyway. We'll, we'll get, have him make a wish later. He, we've got a lot of money from that lottery win, anyway. Um, Eleven. Eleven is home alone. Much like Macaulay Culkin. That other kid who was cute as a child and grew up to look a little bit odd um, but apparently he you know got a haircut 
and stuff recently and looks kind of like he used to again. So that's... I, there's hope for you, Eleven. That's that's basically it. That's the lesson. Go do me a painting. We're, we're going to paint until your fingers are bloody stumps and um, sell them for a load of money. They just say that Eleanor is due to go to work after family leave, but she hasn't had the baby yet. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Reverie June says, romance is great if I have a romantic target in mind. Well, we don't have a romantic target at the moment. Um, Hester, we were going to marry to death when she grows up. We're going to have to cheat a little bit to do that, but I know there is a cheat you can do to essentially make death a regular sim, and then... Um, he can move in and, you know, do all the regular stuff. We could get... Oh, wow, a masterpiece. Jacques is running away. Our goat has escaped. Oh. Yeah, let's sell this masterpiece anyway. Only 932. That is not a valuable masterpiece at all. Here, go, go pee then, if you need to go so badly. We could get, get Eleven her romance this way. I think Hicklable suggested that a while back. Oh, phone call from Polly. Okay. I forgot those two are sisters as well. Um, what does Polly have to say? We haven't heard from her in a while. Maybe she's asking her over to babysit again. Polly has spread some juicy gossip about Hester. Oh, Polly. Oh, I didn't bring you up to backstab like that. So yeah, we can, we could wish for a romance for her, or we can wait and wish for her apprentice later on. You know what, let's give her a romance. I think Eleven needs some happiness in her life. Oh no, was that a gold one? Okay, no, it's normal. That's fine. I was a little worried there. And someone else can wish for the replacement 11 if we need it. Oh. Oh, this looks a little foreboding. Should Hester invite Frankie over? Sure, why not? But don't let him into the shrine. Nothing sets the tone for a romance like a little flirting. What's 11 waiting for? Go paint the town red or pink as it were. Okay. 11, I guess, has... um. I, I think I've gotten this one before. For the next, if she flirts with someone very, very, very soon, then she will get like massive free romance with them. So I guess we have to go find Eleven a, um, a romantic partner to flirt with. And, oh, I don't know. Well, I think there is only uh, one man weird enough for the job. Blue Pigeon guessed it, Mr. Bean. <laughs> Eleven and her soulmate, Mr. Bean. They have the same eyebrows. It works. It's the romance. Because Mr. Bean, Mr. Bean's single, I assume. He had that girlfriend in the show and then he like proposed to her or didn't propose to her at Christmas and she uh, stormed off or whatever so which which door is Mr. Beans I think this one okay let's go see if he's home Bean my flexible friend um okay complain about pet poop okay first we're going to we're going to give him a friendly introduction just Hello. And now, oh, where was it? Romance. She doesn't seem to have it. Ultimate flirt. Why do we not have this ultimate flirt now? Um, actions. Okay, let's just go for 
a regular romance thing, just just to loosen stuff stuff up. I think maybe it's because she stepped in pet poo. She's in a bad mood, and she misses her dog, and she's embarrassed because Mr. Bean didn't flirt back. Don't be embarrassed. It's only Mr. Bean. Um, smooth recovery. It doesn't seem to be working. And now he's gone to sleep. Uh, Mr. Bean? Hello? Oh no. Oh, maybe she has to be flirty. Crap. Crimson Boat th thought it was one of the Beatles for a second. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure which of the Beatles. Maybe a beardless Ringo. Um, watch romance shows on the TV. Oh, th that's a good idea. Um, watch channel. Yeah, maybe we maybe we have to be flirty and. Can we get Mr. Bean to watch with us? Maybe. She's still sad from the missing dog. Um, and she's tired. Oh, and yeah. When will the sadness pass? Um, okay, here we go. She's flirty. I think we have it. No. Oh, I think we waited too long. Or no, ultimate flirt. Um Let's just go offer him a rose. Maybe this will work. I don't know. Oh. Well, that one seemed okay. I think maybe it has just made her more flirty or something. Okay, now kiss his hands. Oh, this is this is working pretty okay. Um, sexy pose. I think if we just do our flirty interactions, we might. Uh, he's feeling flirty now. Okay, flirty Mr. Bean. He's not just straight up flirting. Oh, look at him! He's he's all charmingly befuddled. Will we get her to woohoo with Mr. Bean today? I think we might. Amorous exchange. She can build up her woohoo skill. Oh, her first kiss. Oh. There we go. He didn't really go into that. He just held his mouth completely shut. And didn't even like... There was no suction there, is what I'm saying. But... I guess it's fine. Steamy exchange. Oh, let's woohoo. Here we go. I wonder has Mr. Bean done this before? I, I can't imagine it. Maybe with the aliens. Maybe he's been abducted like Monty before. You know, that's the Mr. Bean opening thing. Well, she gained the woohoo skill from this. I wonder. And therefore become the most skilled woohooer in the house. Sam to the Jane says, please make these two have a monstrosity together. You know what? I'll give it a shot, just once. Oh, they got a negative thingy. I think that's a consequence of having no woohoo skill. We'll get them to try for baby once and if it works then they'll have a baby and if it doesn't then you know we'll leave it because the house is all babied up at the moment. This is going to be crazy. Yeah, they're getting negative um, mood things. I think that's because none, neither of them is good at woohoo. I don't know. I might turn off the woohoo skill because it seems to be ruining them <laughs> for each other. Um, okay, we'll send her home anyway. 
Her fling with Mr. Bean was a nice distraction for the day. Maybe if they have a baby, she can send it to live with him. I think it can be like Mind the, ba Mind the Baby, Mr. Bean, the sequel. That was one of my favorites when I was younger. I had that one on video where he's looking after the baby and, you know, he it poos itself. So he hollows out a teddy bear to put on it. It's good. Arlet says he wore sexy boxers for this date. He did. I noticed that. It, um... Oh, did you get your A yet? Still a B student. Oh, I don't think she... How, how many more days? Four days. Okay, well, she has until Monday to, uh... Get there. I'll have some fruit salad, Hester. Monty's home. Monty is asleep. We have 21 grand. We've got to do something with all this money. Um, I know one thing I want to do, actually. Um, there we go. Just to have another bathroom. Because you can never have too many bathrooms. And... Um, see just do something with this roof um hmm. I kind of want it to be the same as that one hang on maybe if I just copy this one onto here and shrink it down. There we go. And how does that look? That looks pretty nice, I think. Um, also, I wanted to do something with the outside because of these weird consequences on the corners of this brick thing. Oh, is that brick as well? Is that... I think this is technically tile, but it looks like brick, kind of. Maybe we could use that instead. Or there might be a brick one that matches it. Um, we could get this one a bit darker, maybe. I know this is going to look really crappy at first. Actually, yeah, that doesn't work. I need a different wall cover. I have an idea, though. Okay, yeah, this one is pretty much the same as what we have. So we're going to do the whole house in this planar variety. And then what I'm going to do is manually do the, do the corners. I give the bathroom a slightly different color scheme or add a pool. Or a master suite on the other side of the stairs. These are all really good ideas. Um, I think I will go back to them in a second after I've taken a look at this. We can get this the same colour as the roof. Then we can do it like this. I think this kind of works. And then we have more control over... Ah! Missed a bit. We have more control over where the uh, corners apply if we're adding them ourselves. So... It'll kind of look uh, more intentional. And what way do we want to do this tower? This is... Uh, I think we should do have them at every corner of the tower. Just to kind of separate it from the rest of the house. 
This is what everyone should spend their lotto money on, adding just superfluous columns to their house. Oh, I forgot down here. Oh crap, I can't intersect with the roof over there. Okay, we'll fix that in a second. Um, but in general, uh, yeah, I think that looks pretty nice, I think. Gives a nice sort of edge to the house. They kind of disappear from certain angles, which is annoying. But, um, oh, let's see. There's been lots of suggestions here. Give the bathroom a different color scheme. A pool would be fun. Uh, drown people later. Tudor panelling would look nice. Maybe put jutting out bits of the house. The jutting out bits could have Tudor panelling um, while the rest stays with the brick. Okay, yeah, that could be an idea. Um, I need gargoyles. Gargoyles are a good idea. Uh, let's see. Fancy large columned entrance and gargoyles. A fountain. Or a foundation. Yeah, or a guest house. Um, I think gargoyles. I think we need to add a gargoyle somewhere. I have an idea. If we move that roof back, then I think we can get um, something like this along here. And then, actually, Oh, I have an idea about here as well. Um, I love the move objects cheat. It shouldn't even be a cheat. It should just be a thing you can click on in the game, I think. Okay, so I want some um, concrete up here. Some, like, black concrete. I think along here that I can put my gargoyles on. <laughs> Every June asks a guest house like Coconuts' house. Um, <laughs> hopefully not exactly the same, but possibly. Here we go. Look at this. Now that was, was that, that wasn't too expensive, 190 actually, that was pretty ch positively cheap. And we've got two gargoyles up there. I think we're going for a more angular thing with the roof these days. So I think it will look better if I do it like this, the same angle along here. As on the other side. And I don't know how that'll fit into the tower. I think maybe it should finish back here and we can have a balcony area out here. Yeah, this will work. This can be the science balcony. Um, I think I left that on. Um, right. Yeah, this is the science balcony out here, so we just need a door into the tower from it. Maybe over here, behind the gargoyles. Um, yeah, something like that. And... I don't know, what, what could we do up here? We could put in... Ah, I have an idea. If we go to our activities and skills, we don't need it yet. But this is a perfect location to put in a telescope. I like that. I'm going to save this 
in case it goes mad and deletes everything at some stage. But um, this is looking very good. Oh, Dave's girl is, let's see. Yeah, just making sure I'm reading it right. You, having a baby? That's what people are congratulating? Yeah, congratulations. That's really cool. I do not have children myself. Someday, though. Um, yeah. I realize I forgot something. Or, well... In adding this fence, I accidentally removed part of the roof. Which I will now add back in. Okay, and I guess this can go to there. Yeah, that works. Somehow this works. This has really come together well. One thing I don't like is this little edge, though. Oh, I'll have to find some way to clear that up. I think maybe if in time we can add a sort of cloister down here, like a little walkway they can go along. Tower needs some iv ivy, Reverie June says. I'm not sure we can add ivy in this. Maybe we can. If Let me know if there's ivy in The Sims. I could go rooting around right now, but I'd like to get some living done because well last session I got carried away with other stuff and uh, it was a brilliant session but we didn't get much time passed um where are you going asking for advice no look no, it's time to pee not ask for advice Hester I, I understand your dilemma though Dave's girl says, if it's a boy, she'll call him Connor. Maybe. Oh, that's cool. Well, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to influence your decision or anything, but uh, Connors are amazing people. It has been said throughout history. Um, or, if not Connor, how about Montemore? <laughs> the other great name. Okay, I think we can fit this experiment here. And we can get Hester to... Oh, text emergency. Okay, she's got emotional... She's lost manners. Oh, Hester. Manners was your thing. Okay, we need, we need to get her to set the table again. Oh, they're still all sad because of the dog. Can we um, do something about that? I think you can use a phone to... Post alert about missing pet. There we go. That'll fix him. Our goat ran away and we want him back, please. Is she in range? Okay, she is. Good. She's back in range. Now she can go work on her science project. Carefully. Because we don't want to explode or anything. Apparently Ivy came with Get Together. Oh, okay. Well, we can add some Ivy on here. Um, I will very quickly add some Ivy to the wall. Ivy. Dense wall Ivy. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. This is nice. Okay, and uh, can we? Yeah, that looks quite nice. Or oh, there's brambles. I think maybe the the brambles be even better. Oh no, let's let's go with the ivy. We've got a bit of dense wall ivy here, and then it can get a bit sparser we go up. Oh, it's a shame it can't go right into the corner there. And then oh there's other ivy here. There we go. That's that's enough for now.
Okay, let's hope this pet comes back because this lovely goat. Because everyone's really miserable without him for some reason. I don't know. I don't know what he added to the family, but apparently he's an essential component for uh, their happiness here. He he was he was the, just the linchpin holding the whole um, holding the whole family together. Pixon, what's going on? Are you scared of the, the dog? It's okay. It's only Blake. Blake is cool. You you. Oh, you probably don't know Blake. I don't know if she's expecting yet. Oh, actually, we can't get her to mate with the other dog again because he's gone. So, um, okay, Eleven can clean up, I think. I wonder if she's expecting her bean spawn now. That will be... Time will tell, I guess. Um... Could we have Eleven take a pregnancy test? Oh, that's an idea. Yes, let's do it. See, is Mr. Bean's baby on the way? Eleven's not pregnant. Guys, I'm terribly, terribly sorry. Which means we're going to have to call Mr. Bean over again. His first name is just Mr. Wow. Um, well, that's a tragedy in itself. Maybe tomorrow she can go visit him and we'll try again. Actually, this dog seems really scared of, um, I guess, ghosts. Or maybe she just needs to poo. And that's how she acts. I think, I think she just needed to pee. <laughs> this has been a very Eleven-centric episode, actually. We, uh, we don't focus on her very often, but when we do... Oh. Sam to the Jane thinks that Eleanor might be expecting twins, and that's why no one's getting pregnant. Sorry, my microphone slipped there. My, uh, the cord was wrapped around my leg, and I shifted. Um, or Monty, yeah, Monty could be expecting too. But... I have the maximum family limit set to 12, so there should be, you know, lots of babies. That should be possible. Hester got extra credit. Okay, she finished her science experiment. Let's activate it. Oh, that's good. She's taken after her dad there. Amidst volts and amps, a project that will spark your imagination. Okay, well... I think this deserves a place up in the, in the lab. There we go. Now she needs to do some stuff to cheer up. Um, what's fun for young Sims to do? If Eleanor has twins, wouldn't it be weird if one of her one was her exes and one was Monty's? Oh, that would be interesting. Jacques is back. Okay, actually, first thing we have to do then, if Jacques is back, is um, get Pixon to mate with Jacques. Oh, Eleven reached painting level nine. That's good. I haven't. I've noticed that I haven't gotten the mysterious and error occurred pop-ups in a long time. So I'm hoping. This is okay. Is Pixon going up to do the mating? Oh, here we go. No. Dogs, come on. Come on, Jock. Somebody loves you, and it's Pixon. So, get making babies. Okay, Hester, you can go to sleep. Um, I'm just thinking, actually, with the woohoo skill thing, and the way we can uh, make, you know, we, we can make people dislike each other by woohooing at each, with each other. Could we get Hester to build hers up with Frankie because he's disposable? and then marry her to death when her skill is high? 
or is that worthwhile? I don't know. Pixon could be pregnant. We don't know. Um, Eleven. Have you ever heard the tale of Coconuts the Wise? Eleven. Um, okay. Your bed is in here. Bad things happen when you nap in other people's beds. Just saying. Yeah, we should probably recolor this bathroom rather than have it as a, a direct clone. Um, why don't we do it this kind of color? And can we... This kind of works, actually. I, I didn't think this would work, but it is. I think that floor is almost okay. Um, oh. Yeah. There we go, just so that the bathrooms are a little bit different. Oh, I love this house. Work for Eleanor starts in an hour. Eleanor, you're going to work. How do you feel? She probably feels very pregnant right now. Um, she's doing well, though. I think she might get promoted today, which is good. I think she's only at level one of her career. She retires in a couple of days. So, um, oh, it's Monty's birthday tomorrow. We're going to have to have a birthday party for Monty, I think. I think we'll have a birthday dinner party. Or something. He's at his 21st breakthrough as well. Wow. And we have a painting to sell. And Hester, what are you doing? Okay, she's getting breakfast. It's cool. Hester is looking after herself quite competently. We don't, we don't actually have to do too much to keep these sims happy now. I think they're... We've got enough things in the house that they're not, um, they're not all bottlenecking each other and getting stuck anywhere. We've still got 12 grand to spend as well. Actually, one more thing I want to build is, um, I think we need our own, um, invention constructor at home for Monty to use. Because after his birthday, he's going to retire and we're going to, um... We're going to want to make inventions ourselves at home. I think I'm going to have to get rid of this roof. I don't know how we're going to fit this in. Um, oh. Hang on. Idea. If we... Uh, only room for this or the gargoyles not both um what we can do is maybe we can put a room in here like this how does that look from outside oh no that looks awful um crap i think our lab is too small I mean, okay, we can just have it on the roof for now. We'll indoor it somehow later. Just up here is Monty's science area. And actually, I saw something else in there next to the uh, invention constructor. We have like this thing of chemicals. Um, I think maybe that can go into the lab itself. And what are these? Energy emitting transistors. Um, yeah, we can put these here. 
and what's the other science thing? A generator ton. Oh, dials and switches and things. This is a little bit big. I don't think we really need this up on the roof. No, that's enough roof clutter. Can the observatory change places with the invention maker? Um, maybe. I, I kind of like them as they are now, but I'll, con I'll consider it as a future amendment. What's Monty got on him as well? His satellite needs to go up here somewhere. There we go. That is looking pretty sharp. So when he's retired, he can just spend his days up on the roof inventing things. Actually, why wait to retirement? Let's see what else he can invent. He can invent... Um... Oh, the cloning machine. We need more crystals. I think... You know what I think we'll do? I think we're going to send Monty on a crystal quest to collect crystals somewhere. There's probably a few down at the beach or something. Oh, actually, do you know where there's loads? Let's, uh, let's travel. Every June likes the roof lab. It's sort of Frankenstein-y. Yeah, I enjoy it. I like it. It's uh, I think it's it's a good idea. Thank you for the compliment. Anyway, um, Eleanor phone home says Lou. Yeah, I guess so. It's like E G phone home because those are her initials now. Oh, did she? She did well in some sort of opportunity. That's good. Um, yeah, if we go to Oasis Springs and Ninja Manor, now headed by. Connor the Tenth and his four kids, I guess, Yvette, Quinton, Kerry, and Fernando. Then we can go and um, grab a load of crystals. Dave's girl says the lab has loads of crystals. Yeah, but we'd have to follow him to work for that. And it's kind of late in the day and it's the weekend. It'll be a few days before we can get back there. Oh! With the cloning machine, we could even clone Eleven for future generations. I like this. It's, um... It's it, it, the whole Eleven problem. It's a good sort of discussion to have. What are, what are we going to do about her? Okay, well, let's have a dig around here for crystals anyway. Because there's usually a load down here. Oh! The Forgotten Grotto. That's where, like, all the crystals are. Good thing we busted that open on our last uh, Legacy Challenge. Whoa. Should find, like, a million things. Blue Pigeon says we could also clone Mr. Bean and always keep him around. That's true as well. Uh, Crimson Boat says the fact there's no Connor the 11th is upsetting. But maybe we can log in and we can cheat and rename them or something. We might be able to like add one somehow. Here we go. I'm not sure we're going to find common crystals down here though now that I think about it. we we'll find crystals of some sort and lots of plants and things. Oh, not everything is ready for harvest. Well, we'll find some things here. It's not the uh, holy grail I was hoping for, but I think we'll get enough. We can even fish in here and catch some sort of grotto fish, I guess. Let's get some microscope samples too, just to bring back to the lab. And maybe some frogs. Uh, yeah, I think that's everything in here, unfortunately. Um, more frogs here, I guess. 
Oh, there's a toilet here. Well, that's interesting. Well, we can leave now. Oh, he's just traveling home. We make an army of Mr. Beans. Mr. Seen, Mr. Dean, Mr. Ean. I like that. That could be a Sims challenge in itself. The live in a house with just just versions of Mr. Bean. You wanna grab some food? You wanna grab some food, Monty? Some fruit salad? Lovely fruit salad? There you go. Um, he can't invent it yet, can he? No. We don't have any common crystals. I'll keep an eye out around the neighbourhood while they're eating because I'm sure we can get some somewhere. I think a lot of the things in this neighbourhood are like dog specific so you have to train animals to dig them up which um, would be great if we took better care of the dogs but to be honest this house is mental and um, we've got bigger priorities at the moment. I haven't done, Hester hasn't done any photography at all today. So let's get her to uh, invite Frankie over again. Maybe. After her bath. Yeah, we'll get Frankie over and get a few more pictures of him. Sam to the Jane says the only problem with cloning 11 is that the clone would be the same age. Oh, would it? Oh, I didn't know that. Well. That is a problem. Okay. Hester, I need you to uh, take a photo of Frankie for your shrine. Let's get another one. The shame she can't get DNA. <laughs> oh, I like this. He looks so uncomfortable. We'll get five of them. And we can sell the ones that turn out weird. Oh, no, the poo. Ah. What's her photography skill like now? Surely this has been increasing. Very slowly. Okay. But she has got five pictures here. And we can hang the best quality one in here. Or is this one? This one's better. Okay, that one can go. We can sell that. I said we can sell that. And put this one here. Jacques is hungry. Well, Jacques, a lot of us are hungry. There we go. I think that's nice. Um, yeah, there's food out there. Jacques knows where it is. He can just go eat it. Um, let's see. I think Hester might need a snooze. Oh, brilliant! Eleanor's been promoted. And we'll hopefully... When's her baby due? Any time now. Okay, great. We might actually make some progress with something in this session. Graham Henry says in their game, the clones always turn out evil. Well, maybe that's... Uh, yeah, maybe that's a feature. Crimson Boat says there's a tree next to Pine's house that has a secret area with gems. Oh, okay. Well, we can try that, I guess. Uh, oh, Monty. Don't mourn. Mourn not for Pine, for he is dead. Just go to bed instead. That's, I guess that's a poem. Um... Okay, we'll have lots of time for Monty to uh, build up his um, cr his crystal collection once he has retired. Let's get together and howl like wolves at karaoke. No. Oh, Frankie's still here. I didn't realise. Is he still a teen or has he grown up? He looks... Oh, no, he's still a teen. He just looks older. 
I just discovered recently that like teenagers can get part-time jobs. I didn't know that was a thing in this game. Midnight thinks Monty needs one last league meetup before he becomes an elder. Oh, that's a good idea. Ah, we're out of food. Um, Monty. We are going to travel somewhere to have a League of Villainy meetup. Let's see how much of the old League is still alive, actually. Um, Crimson Bode says they'll start beating him up after that. Oh, yeah. I suppose they will. Um, where has expensive stuff? Why don't we go to... Is there a museum in this part of town? Oh, you know what? There is a gallery in San Myshuno. Over here. The Casbah Art, Art Gallery. I think we might have had a league meeting here, but... I don't know. It's, it's an old haunt of ours. It's full of expensive paintings. Perfect for the pilfering. But, uh, we'll see. Okay. Assemble the league. Right here. Oh look, everyone's still alive, but we've got room for one more member. Who, who will we add? I think... Moriarty McEvil has to be in the league. Like, why? How could he not be? He's got evil in his name. Okay, and now let's go and can we... We can't swipe one of these. Crap. We could swipe maybe something else. Let's see if we can get one of these uh, sculptures or something. Yeah, come on, Monty. No one's looking. Oh, no. That girl might see. Oh, we did it. We got a statue. Now let's go uh, be mean to people. What's her name? Cheese Sandwich. Let's go give her a rude introduction. We're getting a thumbs up on that because it's a league activity. Yeah, hey Cheese Sandwich. Nice name. Ham sandwiches are better. Imply her mother is a llama. Argue about music. Yeah, this is good. Tell her to go away. Actually, rather than tell her to go away, because we do need to continue being mean to her, we'll just um, throw a drink at her. Lou says, is this where the night came from? No, that was the other museum. It's accused her of being an alien. She might not be, but we'll see. And we'll fight her. Why not? What club perks do we have for the league? Okay, we've only got 76 points, so we can't get too many. We have leather jackets. Oh, we can set up a club outfit. Oh, but I have to make each of them. Ah, not right now. This is good. What is the rest of them? Oh my god, the bartender's an old man. They didn't think through the catering for this event. What are you guys doing? Oh, come on. Oh, crap. <laughs> They're really trashing the place. Where's Moriarty gone? I haven't seen him here. Oh, <laughs> look who's out here. Navia Chowan is from the Spice Girls is just out here doing a nice mural painting. And there's a bar fight breaking out in here. They're smashing the bins. They're knocking over furniture. Our new member didn't show up. Um... Maybe, uh, did I add him after starting the event? That was probably it. Oh my god! Moriarty has completed a level of his public as enemy aspiration. That's good. Or Monty has. Um, 
Okay, let's beat up this bartender because, well, you have to, oh my god, Monty lost. Well, he is getting old. Midnight says Mon maybe Monty should train an evil apprentice uh, uh, before he gets older. That could work as well. We'll do it when he when he's an elder and he's wise enough. Then he can. Um, now, I believe we need to fight you. It's nothing personal. What what are you doing, Bingo? Tidying up after ourselves. Oh no. Is it past midnight? It's Monty's birthday. Okay, I think we're gonna cut this short here. Bismarck and Monty despise each other. Monty, it's time for your birthday party. We're going to have a, uh, where is it? Dance party, toddler play date, black and white. Birthday party. For Monty Goth, we are inviting Invite Moriarty, even though he didn't come. Uh, Spice can come. Audra can come. No, we won't invite Cheese Sandwich. Bumblebee, he's he's a friend. Samantha Shah, uh, she can come. Bingo is welcome. Bomb Schmooze, why not? I guess we'll invite Eleven and Hester. Polly's not available. I guess we've lost. Oh, there she is. And Colby. Yeah, let's just invite loads of people. Caterer. We don't need a caterer. We can cook ourselves. Let's go. And we'll have it at... Um... Uh, where is it? The Fortress of Goth. We'll have it at home. Oh, Dave's girl just reminded me we didn't invite Dogman. Or Pine. Pine wasn't on the list. Is Pine dead? I think Pine might be dead. Birthday celebrations need a cake. Okay, well, someone can make a cake. Um, Monty needs to pee right now, but you, new wife, you need to make him a chocolate cake. Which we're not going to eat because then everyone will end up looking pregnant. Now we need to tell jokes and become playful at the same time and make drinks and stuff. Ah, okay, let's go. Um, we'll tell jokes to Polly because she's someone we respect, unlike the rest of these guests. And let's tell a, go a joke to Samantha as well. I think that's Samantha to Jane. Are you still in chat? Welcome to the birthday party, anyway. Oh my god, is that Moriarty McEvil dressed in <laughs> as Darth Vader? Um, okay, I, I can get behind that. I've seen it become playful at the same time. Well, the way we can do that is by telling jokes. <laughs> okay, and let's see. We'll have a big joke session out here. Um, is that cake nearly ready? Oh, the cake is ready. That's good. Let's uh, add some candles. Okay, we got the playful thing. Compliment the birthday sim. Okay, we'll do that in a minute. I think we're going to blow out the candles, everybody. Everyone come inside. It's candle blowing time. Mind control the guests to clean. Oh, maybe we will. Once we've, uh, we can, I wish we could mind control them to compliment him. Here we go. Old man Monty. Where's Hester going? It's like she's leaving her dad's birthday party. Oh, look at him. He's ancient. Oh, she looks so sad. His wife is not pleased about this. Um, let's see. 
can how do we co complement the birthday sim? I don't I don't see it there. Does it say? Play a game with the birthday sim. We can do that. Um, I don't know what games we have, but. I know we can get a party game if we, well, not a party game, but if we go into electronics and I think under th televisions, we, here we can get them like a console, they can play together. Why don't you play Party Frenzy with Bingo and Bumblebee? Come on guys, let's play. Oh great, we're up to silver now. Um, we need to make drinks, we don't have a bar. So, compliment his appearance. Oh, that's how you do it? Okay, that might just be it. We're going to get a temporary party bar outside as well. I'll like, I'll sell it afterwards. We don't, we don't need one right now because, I don't know, Sims just, um, Just go mad for it. Here, make yourself a drink. Oh, we have to make three drinks. Okay. Um, right. Oh, Hester's here. Watching the game. Hester, um, I need you to compliment your dad. Oh, no. She's interacting with herself, I think. No. Okay, Monty, forget this game. You have, to, you have to be available for compliments. And then we're going to mind control everyone to clean afterwards. Compliment outfit. Oh, here we go. Is that count? That counts. Amazing. Okay. Um, heartfelt compliment. All the compliments can come from the one person, I think. Um, oh, you only made one drink. Here, make another drink. Same one. Um, what else can we compliment him on? His outfit again. And also, um, Let's see. We can compliment his outfit one more time. It's a really nice outfit. I, I was, uh, it was a proud choice. Um, great. Okay, and we only need one more drink made, and our bartender has once again gone missing. I hope we don't have to make them do a toast. Oh no, I think we'll have to. No, eat the cake. Oh, perfect. Well, I think the cake is gone. Oh, no. Oh. 11 still got some. Okay, I don't think we're going to get a gold thing on this. Monty's portrait at the moment. Hmm? Oh, down here. Yeah. <laughs> He's in a pretty good mood. He's enjoying his party. Oh god, Eleanor's about to pop. Oh, why did you guys eat the cake so quickly? Why did you eat the cake so quickly, Eleven? I'm blaming you. Okay, Hester. You are getting tired out by all this all these shenanigans. I think it's time for you or no, rather than go to bed, I think she needs to take a birthday photograph of her dad. Take a photo with Monty. Shame she can't do group photos. Make another cake? Oh, I don't know. We don't have time. We might have at the time, but we don't now. Oh, that's a nice one. Look, you can see they're matching pupils. And a really nervous looking cowboy in the background, just photobombing them. 
Okay, that's good. How's your skill doing? Silver medal. That's not bad. 42%. I'm not sure she's getting many photography points there. Um, oh, I forgot. We need to um, mind control someone to clean. There we go. Uh, we're not going to bother bringing Jacques to the vet. The vet. He can like he can get better on his own. Yeah, it is time for retirement. Actually, Monty, you can retire now. Uh, it's been a long career. But you can finally stay home and do your inventing back here. Time to kick back and relax. Exactly. Time for him to go straight to bed. <laughs> Dave's girl says, give him a bath. Oh, okay. Ah, girls, get away from the cemetery. Never, never go to the grave of Mangarold. You're just encouraging him. Okay, we need to bathe Jacques. Um... Why not? Stop mourning Mangarold. You never met him. Well, you met his ghost, probably. But his ghost is a worse man than he was. Um. Oh no, look, Pixon's not in a good mood. We also need to fill this up. What are you cooking in here, Eleanor? Oh. Don't leave it on. Don't leave that unattended. Don't start a fire. Flea markets in town. Okay. Jacques is hungry. Jacques, you know where your bowl is. Did oh, brilliant. Sam to the Jane just cleaned our whole house. Thank you very much. Selling the bar. Oh, of course. Yeah, we don't need that out here. If we're going to get a bar, we're going to build a proper one, somewhere on the lot. Pixon could also do with a bath. Yes. Eleven can bathe both the pets now. Gosh. Hester, who's calling? It's Polly, wanting to go to the flea market. Find some treasures. Um, yeah, why not? Might as well send them out. Ooh, Unnecessary Gamer had a very good suggestion in chat for Dave's girl. She should name her baby Mangarold. I think so. As far as I remember, it's a cross between the words Mango and Harold. Um, I, d I, was g I think I was going for a fruity thing, but yeah, I, th I think it's a pretty nice name. If I, if I ever have a son, I will name him Mangarold, probably. Um, it's a fine, noble name. So this is the flea market. looks closed. Why don't we go here together? Okay, I have to buy something. Like what? There, There's no objects here. Oh, here. It's Mr. Bean! Mr. Bean is here. And he's selling rocks. A perfectly preserved moustache. Yeah, let's buy that. Mr. Bean is selling fossilised moustaches. Let's uh, bring Eleven here. Eleven? Look who's here. It's Mr. Bean. Your boyfriend. How about naming a future heir Mangarold in his honour? Oh, well, that could be an idea. Why is she sad from morning? Ah. So, Mr. Bean. We cannot flirt with you at the moment. For some reason. That didn't count as buying something. Oh. Well, no one else is selling anything. We did buy it. What's this? Some sort of love fountain. Who's this, anyway? Well, what is your name? 
Jack Von Creep. Okay. You know who'd like this? Death. Let's see if Grim Reaper can come along. Oh no, we can, we can just send a text or chat to him or whatever. It's cool. We'll, we'll have a chat with him. We'll build up our relationship, see if we can add him. We just need to keep him around a bit. Reverie June says, Mangaralda for a girl. That's pretty good. We can go on that. <laughs> I, I think that's a beautiful name. Is this for sale as well? Okay, let's buy this lantern then. See if this counts as buying something. Oh, it does. Okay, great. Actually, I do really like this chair as well. An executive guest chair. It's quite expensive, but yeah, why not? Let's get let's get the chair. It'll it'll go well in the house. I think we're buying too much. Can we sell things as well? Stock the table, tend the table. Oh, maybe we can. Can we sell on the moustache? Oh, this is good. Look, we can sell this moustache now to someone else. Who would like to buy this moustache? Or, um... Oh, let's sell some of these photos. Oh, I don't think we can. No, you can't sell the photographs. Come on, buy this moustache. Eleven has taken her steps, first steps on her culinary journey. Oh, she's happy again. Bean. Beanie. Beanie, old boy. Get over here. I want to compliment you on your lovely eyebrows. Oh, he is Mr. Bean. Let's make the magic happen again, Bean. You want it, I want it. His voice is very high for Mr. Bean, I have to say. He sounds like an alien. Maybe he is an alien. I can sell the photos on the wall. Oh, okay. Well, okay, why don't we clear this table then? And go and sell on this wall. Um, ah, oh, we can't. Apparently. Okay, you... She can't go home now. I think we have to end this social event. Why not? We, we got gold in it anyway. Where's Eleven? Eleven! Mr. Bean is getting away. You are not... You are not missing out on this again. This is the perfect chance to flirt with Mr. Bean. This is fate that has brought you two together here. He's in the red friendship. Yeah, they're um, a bit of a fling. Let's kiss his hands. They're technically lovebirds. Okay. <laughs> Steamy exchange. Can they woohoo anywhere here? No. Oh, there's no there's nowhere available. Let's go back to his place. Where did he live again? Eleven can sell her paintings on the wall and I can set the price high. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. I might give that a shot. Um, he lives over here somewhere, doesn't he? Okay, let's just go to the, these people's house. It's fine. Anywhere they can woohoo. I think this is the right building, at least. And then we'll finish up soon because it's half ten and it's a work night. But yeah, let's just uh, 
get this done first. Okay, we can... Which is the right door? Nope. Here we go. Come on, Bean, let's get in here. Mr. Bean! No! Uh, where did he go? Okay. Mr. Bean, you beany bastard, where are you? Okay, we have to we have to get down and catch him before he leaves. Okay, good. We got we got him. That's the crisis averted, and now can we? We can go up and sit and chat here, I guess. I don't know, I don't know why they can't woohoo with each other at the moment. Um, she can ask him to be boyfriend. Well, we're, we're just not getting it for whatever reason. I don't think we can in this house for... I don't know. I'm, I know they can woohoo in other houses. Maybe it's because it's not his. Um... You know what we'll do? We'll bring him home. <laughs> Necessary Gamer says it's a very Mr. Bean thing to do to get the girl back, have no idea what she wanted, and wander off to, <laughs> to get kettle corn. Yeah. True. I suppose he plays to character. The Sims captures Mr. Bean surprisingly well. Okay, we'll just get them back to the house and they can produce their spawn here. And maybe Eleanor's baby will come along as well. Because she's been pregnant for about 20 years, so... Knows? Oh, Eleanor has gone into labour. Okay. Um, oh, what are we going to do then? That's... Well, first of all, they... We've used the observatory to get her to try for a baby with Mr. Bean. Go on, you crazy kids. And Eleanor, you can... Uh... Okay, you can take a shower. Whatever, we'll get back to you. About the whole labour situation. She seems quite calm about it. Go on, you two. There we go. Now, Eleanor, you need to... Um... Oh, she can disguise herself. What's her disguise like? This is what she looks like as a human. Oh, I preferred the alien look, actually. Um, go have your baby at the hospital. You can go by yourself. It's fine. This is a kind of an extra baby. I'm not that bothered. It's not going to be the heir. We don't need the nursery. Yeah. Is Monty going too? Okay, yeah. Monty went with her. He's, he's being a good dad, I guess. Hester is going to get really jealous now because she's used to being the baby of the family. Oh, it's a it's another girl. What were we going to call her? Um. Oh, you guys suggested names. I can't remember. Something with a K? I know if it was a boy, it was going to be Fester. Uh, Kimberlina. Okay. Kimberlina Goth is the new Goth child. Oh my god, it is twins. Oh no. Okay, what was the next name? Reverie June says Andromeda. Okay. Andromeda Goth. Okay, well. That's interesting. Uh, where are they? Well, they've probably popped into one of the bedrooms or something, have they? Oh, they've popped into Eleven's bedroom. Well... Oh, they're not in the, um... How do we get them into the spooky-looking baby holder... thing? Oh, God. So many babies. Um... Yeah, this thing. 
can we move can we move them into that somehow like um let's see maybe there's an action um more choices did I see find out what's wrong oh that's new that's handy okay um no we can't move them into this thing I probably should have deployed it beforehand well, oh, we can still have the chair we bought. Apparently it's a, an exclusive business career chair. Well, it can go into uh, Hester's room. She bought it. She, maybe there is better. And she also bought this lantern, which, I don't know, I don't really want. I'm going to sell it. What do we have here? Some sort of coffee pot. Oh, we could put that in the kitchen. And this statue, which we can sell for a bit of a profit. Okay. Like whoa, it's Megals says Monty had zero luck with having a son. Maybe Hester will have sons instead of daughters. Maybe. This has been a very like female um family. And also, welcome to the stream. I don't think you've uh, commented before. I, I might be wrong, but I I like to say hello to new people. Um okay. Both of these kids need to be fed. Oh my god. Let's go just feed them both. Oh, they're going to both need to be changed as well. This is crazy, and... I mean, we want Hester to have a baby before too long. And Eleven is possibly expecting... Can we pregnancy test her yet? Okay. Are we expecting a beanie baby? Let's see. Oh, no! <laughs> Beanie Baby confirmed. Oh, people are saying to check the family tree and make sure that uh, there are Monty's. Yep. Monty's new daughters, Andromeda and Kim Kimbelina. This has turned into this was a legacy challenge. I think it's turned into the 100 baby challenge somehow. <laughs> we can do both. No, we'll see. We'll probably accidentally have 100 babies within this legacy challenge. Um, oh no. Like. Well, at least babies will have like a lot of friends growing up. Okay. Well, let's sell this painting. We need money to fund these two babies anyway. Oh, this is insane. Well, let's see. It's 20 to 11. Can Pixen get pregnant now? Oh, maybe. Well, Actually, we'll see about that. Maybe we'll see about that next time because it's it's 20 to 11 So I'm going to stop now and be back. I'll be back on Tuesday anyway at uh, 8 o'clock for a slight Well, you know my Tuesday sessions are generally like half an hour longer. So we'll get more done. Hopefully That on Tuesday Hester will finally become an adult and maybe marry death maybe I don't know what we'll do about these babies. This is a crazy time to be alive in The Sims. Um, yeah, anyway, if you're enjoying the stream, then feel free to subscribe if you want. Um, check out the, the old streams on YouTube. Um, you know, do all the things. And uh, YouTube channel is Ninja Connor eight six, and I also have my older legacy challenges there. My first Sims four one, which uh, basically laid the foundations for this neighborhood, and my uh, previous Sims three one, and you know, I'll, I'll generally every stream will get uploaded there pretty quickly afterwards. So um, that's everything for now. Uh, 
Goodbye.